Okay, let's talk about Algebra 1. And in Algebra 1, you study, obviously, a lot of algebra. And one of the main topics you learn in algebra is how to solve equations. And in Algebra 1, you really get into something called linear equations and other type of equations as well. But in this particular video, I'm going to focus in on what a linear equation is. And we're going to talk about how to solve a linear equation in one variable. Of course, there's other types of linear equations in more than one variable, but we're just gonna focus on linear equations in one variable for this particular topic. And again, this is going to be uh, something you absolutely need to know how to do if you are in any sort of algebra course, of course, Algebra 1 and beyond. But uh, this is an example of the type of equation that, you're, uh, that we would describe as a linear, a linear equation in one variable. But uh, let me ask you, you can put your answers into the comment section, could you solve this equation right here? Because if you could solve this particular equation right here pretty confidently and show all your steps, then you probably are pretty good at solving linear equations in one variable. But I'm going to solve this equation here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to all my information, my math help program, and some other information in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades, and there's, I've basically learned one main thing about math education, and that is this. All students can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. It requires you, the student, uh, uh, basically be willing to do the work, okay? Do the homework, do the pr uh, take notes, practice, and put that effort uh, in to learning. And then the second thing it requires to be successful in mathematics is great math instruction. I'm talking about crystal clear easy to understand math instruction, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, definitely check out my math help program. Additionally, if you're preparing with uh, for any sort of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the uh, SAT, uh, GED, or maybe a teacher certification exam. I have a wide variety of test prep courses. If you homeschool, definitely check out my uh, middle and high school mathematics uh, courses. Uh, for homeschooling, they are um, were ranked number one recently by a major homeschool publication. I'm uh, very excited about that. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's get into linear equations in one variable. Again, if you can uh, solve this problem, if you want to basically check to see if you are you know pretty good at this, well, then you should be able to solve this uh, problem here. But let's go ahead and start this off by first um, answering this question, what is a linear equation? Okay, so of course we have linear equations in one variable and then two variables, and you can have multiple variables beyond that. But these are some examples of a linear equation. So let's take a look at this guy right here. This is 2x is equal to 10. So uh, first of all, uh, let's just look at this word here, equation. So we're talking about uh, mathematical statements or um, expressions that have an equal sign. So any type of equation in algebra, if you're using that word equation, there's going to be an equal sign. So here we have equal signs. So all of these are various types of equations. But what makes a linear equation um, uh, as such is this word here, okay, a linear equation. So what is the word? What's the root word here? Well, hopefully you can kind of see it's a line, all right? So we are talking about an actual line, something you can actually graph, right? Like a straight line like so. So if you think about this description, a linear equation, it really is a line equation. And that's exactly what a linear equation is. Effectively, these are equations that you could graph uh, with uh, in terms of a line, okay? So lines, graphically speaking, okay, uh, their algebraic or equation uh, equivalent is a linear equation. So you can have a linear equation in one variable. So something like this is a linear equation in one variable. So we have 2x is equal to 10. And you don't have to use that variable x. It could be other variables like y. So here's another example. 3y minus 7 is equal to 8. This is another linear equation in one variable. Now, another thing that makes this uh, a linear equation is the power of the variable is 1. So here I have x or here I have y. But technically, this uh, both of these variables are to the first power. So this would be something that would not be a linear equation. It would be something like 2x squared 
is equal to 10. Well, this is not a linear equation because x squared is something different. In algebra, that's called a quadratic equation. Okay, so this word linear has very, very specific uh, meanings to it. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, some other type of linear equations. And here we have what we call a system of linear equations. And this is actually two variables now. So this is a two variable linear equation. So we have y and we have x, and then we have y and x here. But both of all of these variables are all to the first power. Okay, so this right here is a line. Okay, so this is a line right here. And this right here is another line. So this is, uh, with these brackets right here, that means that this is a system or a system of linear equations, two variables. System of linear equations is kind of the more technical description of this. But if you're studying, uh, studying anything in uh, mathematics or algebra, you really need to look at the, the term, the phrase, and understand what we're talking about here. Okay. All right, so hopefully now you have a pretty good understanding of what a linear equation is and uh, what it is not. So now let's talk about how to solve linear equations. Now, I'm kind of going to uh, compress a lot um, into this video because, you know, this is a pretty big topic. This is actually like a full chapter in uh, algebra, but I'm going to give you a quick overview and some suggestions on how you can improve to solve, uh, to uh, basically solve uh, linear equations. So when you uh, solve linear equations, you first start learning this by solving the most basic type of equations in algebra. And these are called like one-step equations, something like this, 3h is equal to 12. So can you solve this equation? Okay. Now, hopefully you're saying, oh, 3h is equal to 12. All I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3 and h would be equal to 4. Okay. If you did that, if you understand that, then that's excellent. There's other types of one-step equations. And by the way, I have tons of videos on this on my uh, YouTube channel uh, in various playlists. Uh, but if you really want to learn this stuff with me, definitely check out any one of my algebra courses. Obviously, Algebra 1, but I teach this in algebra, uh, pre-algebra as well and in all my additional higher-level higher algebra courses. Okay, so this is an example of one-step equation a one-step linear equation. So you have to learn how to master all these type of equations. And then once you um, uh, mastered all these, you move on to uh, something called two-step equations, something like this, 3h minus uh, 1 is equal to 11. Here, I'll actually solve this here real quick. Let's erase this. So 3h minus 1 is equal to 11. This type of equation is going to involve you, know, you taking two steps. So the first step is you would add 1 to both sides of the equation. It gets you 3h is equal to 12. And now we're back to this uh, one-step equation. So you went from, uh, you took one step, and now you only have to take one more step. And that would be divide both sides of the equation by 3. You would get h is equal to 4. So here's one step, and here's another step. So two steps to solve this type of equation. And so, um, again... You want to master the one-step equations and then master the two-step equations uh, in your journey to solve linear equations. And then finally, you're going to move on to multi-step equations. And these are equations like this that are going to take you more than two steps. We just classify those as multi-step equations. And that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, I'm going to solve that equation that we were looking at earlier. And I have the work all written out. And again, this is just a quick overview of linear equations in one variable. Uh, so if you're struggling with the one step or two steps, master those before you get into, you know, more, um, you know, challenging problems like this. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. So here is the problem here. And I have all the work written out. I want to tell you uh, right off the bat is that when you're, when you're doing your homework, uh, test or quizzes, write out all your work so your teacher can grade each step of the problem because if you, if you made a little mistake anywhere along the, these lines but that was the only little thing that you got wrong but the rest of it was correct your teacher is going to give you partial credit okay most teachers are going to um you know they're looking for you to do the work to to see hey how much of this stuff do you really understand so show your work be neat be organized but let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this particular problem so what do we do here well anytime in algebra you see a number outside of a sum or a difference, in other words, parentheses with like a variable. So like this situation or this situation right here. So we have a number, parentheses, like some sort of term, 
but we're talking about a sum or a difference like this. It could be more than two things as well. Uh, but uh, this right here is an indication of us using something called the distributive property. So when you um, are solving linear equations in one variable, you look for just, uh, things that you have to apply the distributive, this, uh, the distributive property first. Okay, so uh, the distributive property here is we're going to multiply that 4 times this m. We're going to get 4m, and then we're going to multiply this 4 times that 1, and we're going to get 4. Okay, and then over here, I'm going to multiply this 5 times that m. I get 5m, and then this 5 times that 2 there, I'm going to get uh, minus 10 or 10. Okay, so that's the first thing you do is if there are uh, any situations where there's parentheses, and you have to apply the distributive property, do that first. So now we have 4m plus 4 plus 2m minus 3, and then we have uh, 5m minus uh, 10 over here. Now, one of the main things that you want to be looking to do when you're solving uh, a linear equation or any equation in general is you want to get all your variable terms on the left-hand side and all your numbers on the right-hand side. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of work towards that but before we start moving things over, variables to the left and right, and numbers to the left and right, the first thing we want to do is combine like terms. So here, I have a 4m and a 2m. Like, you know what? I could combine those up. So 4m and 2m is 6m. So let's go ahead and combine those. Then here I have a 4 and I have a minus 3. And of course, that's going to be 4 plus negative 3 or 4 minus 3, which is positive 1. So you want to simplify each side of the equation. Um, when you're solving these uh, linear equations. So we have 6m plus 1 over here, and then I have my 5m minus 10 right here. Okay, so at this point, we're looking pretty good, and if you notice, we have an m over here. That's a variable term. I need to move that over to this side of the equation, and I have a 1 over here. I need to move this to this side of the equation, and by doing that, I'm going to basically make this into like a one-step equation, and we can finally solve. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to do that. I'm going to move, uh, go ahead and move this 5m to the other side of the equation. So I don't want it on the right-hand side. I want it on the left-hand side. So what I'm going to do is subtract a 5m from both sides of the equation. Okay. Now, uh, this video may be a little bit too much. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, you need to go back and check out some of my videos on one-step and two-step equations because this is stuff you should already know, okay? Uh, but if you don't, that's okay. At least you're kind of getting some feedback here on what you got to work on. But don't try to do these multi-step equations till you mastered, again, the one- and two-step equations. Okay, so I want to subtract 5m from both sides of the equation. So 6m minus 5m is m. Okay, so you kind of work it down in a column format. Um, so 6m minus 5m is m, 1 plus nothing is just 1, so we got m plus 1 on the left-hand side. 5m minus, uh, or uh, 5m minus 5m is 0, that goes away, so I'm left with negative 10 plus 0, which just is negative 10. Okay, so now, if you look, I have all my variables to the left-hand side, and I got this 1 over here, so let's move this over to the other side. This is really, uh, basically a one-step equation. So all I have to do to solve for m is subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, and I'll have m by itself. So when I subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, I get m is equal to negative 10 plus negative 1, which is negative 11, and that is the answer. Okay, so how many of you out there got that right? Well, if you got that right, well, I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face with a good old 1985 flat top haircut. That was a pretty cool haircut back there, but not as uh, cool as your ability to do this problem, okay? If you could do linear equations, if you could do this, uh, you know, prom and you understood each step and your work looked pretty close to mine, then that's excellent, okay? But if you are still struggling with this, well, the whole point of this video is to help you out, okay? Don't uh, get overwhelmed. What you need to do is start from the beginning, okay? You can't, there's no shortcuts in math. You know, start from the basics and work your way up, okay? But if this video did help you out in some small uh, way, please consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over 1,000 plus math videos from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content. I make it for you. Uh, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. 
Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.